Stampers, Deb Valder, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here, and I want to start off this video by asking you a question. Have you ever been inspired by anything that's just sitting around, looked at something and thought, you know, I, I can do that? Well, I attended my very first 31 party, and for those of you that don't know what the, that is, it's another home party um, planner, and um, they sell bags. They're customized bags that you can, you know, pick out the colors and um, the sizes and whatnot. Well, anyway, I got mine delivered to me, and it was sitting on my table, and I thought, oh my gosh, that is so stinking cute. I could do that. So that's what I did. Um, I was inspired by the bag, and um, I just looked at it, and I thought I could make that. So that's what I did, and that's what came about by this bag right here. And, um, you can take and you can fill it with anything. You can take and you can put tissue paper in it and fill it with a gift. You can take and you can um, fill it with cards, which is what I did. I, I have 10, 10 cards and 10 envelopes in here, but it'll hold more. Um, you can make them with any kind of designer series paper and um, some ribbon, a few embellishments, and they are absolutely adorable. So if you looked at the picture um, at the beginning of this video, I showed you what the original bag looked like and how it was um, just curved right in here. Theirs had a little bit of pockets on them, but we just decided to put um, some embellishments on them. So let me just show you how fast and how easy they are. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to start off with two pieces. Actually, it's, it's just four pieces of paper. The first two pieces of paper are going to be um, seven inches long and seven and a half inches tall. And then your, the other two pieces are going to be three and a half by um, six inches. So I'm going to do this with um, this designer series paper. These are my two seven by seven and a half inch pieces and here are my two pieces that are um, three and a half by six inches. So um, the first thing that you need to do is to put all of your adhesives on. And I'm going to show you um, with a solid piece of um, cardstock where, where they go. On these two pieces right here, you're only going to put sticky strip on one side. You don't put it on the other one. So you're just going to take and um, you're going to cut off the score marks and the score, the scoring and the, the measurements will be on my blog. But you're going to just take and you're going to cut off um, these two down, these two pieces down here. Now you'll notice that these are not scored up here. It's just scored down here so that we can cut them off. And that's where the score mark is. So I've got sticky strip here, nothing on this side, and there's nothing on the other piece that's this size. For the piece, the two shorter pieces, what I did was you're going to take and you're going to cut off these two tabs just like I did on the big ones. And on one side, you're going to take and you're going to put sticky strip. And then on the other side, you're going to take and put it on the long side. So the long side has um, two pieces of sticky strip on this side. You're going to flip it over and you're going to take and on just the bottom flap right here, because these are going to be cut off. On this bottom flap right here, you're going to put um, two pieces of sticky strip. And that's it. So you've got four pieces of paper, just a very little bit of sticky strip and we're ready to put it together. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your two larger pieces and we're going to put those together. So you're going to take off your sticky strip and you're going to take this bottom piece and you're going to line it up with this piece right here. So I'm just going to lay it on here like this and you want to get it pretty accurate your first time around because if you don't, sticky strip is like uh, the stickiest thing I've ever seen. You could stick your kids to the wall and they won't ever come off. So um, here's our bottom piece right here. Now we only have two more pieces to add. Now you'll notice that these are not these are not scored at all. Okay, so. Um, like I told you, there's no score marks on here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take our sticky strip and we're going to take just um, the bottom piece off of one. And I, I like to do this a little bit at a time. So you're just going to take these two pieces of sticky strip off and you're going to add them to um, one side of this. So the easiest way I found to do it is to just lay it down like this and then just check it to make sure it's all lined up. Whoops. Whoops is not good. Okay, it's all lined up, lined up, and then just press it down. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other one. You're just going to take off the sticky strip. You're going to lay it down right here. Can you see that? Line it up, make sure it's all lined up in here, and press it down. We're almost done. Now you're going to take, now this is the part that um, people get so confused about, but it's really not hard. We're going to take off one piece at a time, and instead of, you know, you're thinking that it's got to go like this, but it's not. What we're going to do to get this little curve right here, 
what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put um, wrong side to wrong side. So I'm going to take this like this and I'm going to start it here at the bottom. And what I told my, my customers was um, if you start it here at the bottom and you leave your finger in between, it's kind of holding the sticky strip so it doesn't, um, it doesn't adhere before you put it down. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of adhering it all the way up just like this. And that side is done. And now I'm going to take this sticky strip off and I'm going to do the same thing. You're going to put wrong side to wrong side. So um, if you're doing this with cardstock like I did with the crumb cake paper, it's a little bit harder because the paper is, is thicker. But with, with um, designer series paper, it just goes together so nicely. Okay, so here's this one. So there's our first curve. You see, there's our first curve right there. Now we're going to do the other side the same exact way. And we're going to take off one piece of sticky strip. Put right, or wrong side to wrong side, not right side to right side, wrong side to wrong side. We're just going to take and put these together just like this. There we go. And then our last side right over here, we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to take wrong side to wrong side. So we're just going to take and put these two together. And we have our box. Okay, so now the next thing put our sides on. Um, you'll see with the with the original bag, and I'm going to try to get this up here to show you, but in the original bag, it's got um, a little um, binding here on the side. So we're going to do the same thing, just like I did on this one. You see it's got the black binding right here. Um, and on my um, brown one, it's got um, the brown binding. One. See how I've got the brown binding on there? We're going to take and we're going to put Island Indigo binding onto this um, onto this one right here. So I, I just took this and um, I want to show you how I cut these because it's it's kind of important that you know this this little piece of it right here. So what I did was I took a piece of um, cardstock and I cut it at five inches because that's the length of um, our box right here. I cut it at five inches and then instead of cutting um, half inch in half inch pieces right away, what I did was I put it on the quarter inch mark and I scored it first and then I ran over to the half inch mark and I cut it. And then I went over to the quarter inch mark, I scored it, and then I went over to the half inch mark and I cut it. So that um, by the time I cut it, I've already got the score mark in here. Um, and then you want to put sticky strip on both sides um, so that um, it, it adheres to both sides of your, your, car, or, uh, your, your bag right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gently um, fold it in. I took the sticky strip off and I'm going to take and I'm going to adhere it up here at the top and then what I like to do is adhere it adhere it right down here at the bottom and then just push in the middle and fold up and fold down and it just gives you a nice binding edge it's just so adorable and then I'm going to do the same thing here I'm just going to start it at the top I hope you can see this and then I'm going to start it at the bottom remember that the um, the, the creases are already in there, so it's pretty easy. And then you just slide from side to side. Let's do it two more times for each of the other sides, and then I'll show you how to put the handles on. So we're going to do the top, then the bottom. And remember, your um, creases are already in there. And slide. And then we're going to take um, our last piece right here. I took the sticky strip um, off, and I'm just going to start it here at the top. I'm going to start it here at the bottom, and I'm going to slide from side to side, and there we go. So now we have um, our sides decorated. The bottom is done, the side is done. The only thing we have left is to decorate it and to put our handles on. So I want to show you how to do the handles. For um, this one right here, what I did was um, I am going to use our new um, burlap ribbon. And um, I just took a 36 inch piece and I just taped it with regular tape right here. And the first thing that I need to do is to, um, I'm just going to take and I'm going to temporarily glue it down with um, some snail adhesive. Um, and that's just so that I can get a start on it. But, um, and I'm just going to put it right on where um, I have the, uh, right where I have the, the tape. I just want to temporarily put it down there so that I can just kind of 
decide where it's going to go. So um, I'm putting it down there just like that. And you'll see that the ribbon is um, nice and even. It goes in a continuous loop. But what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to take this right here. And then we're just going to roll it like this. Okay, so it's still even. Can you see that? I rolled it like that. We're going to take and roll it all the way around like that. It goes down at the bottom. And then we're going to take and the way to make it even is to just kind of hold it up. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take and pull it so that these two come even right here. So you're just going to kind of um, um, like pull back and forth until you get them even. And that's why you're only going to adhere one to begin with. Once those are even, what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're just going to take your green glue or your Tombow glue and you're just going to glue these down. And then when you're when you're done with that, um, your box is, your bag is done and you have a 31 bag. And like I said, they're just absolutely adorable. I'm going to finish this one up, come back, and then I'm going to show you what I have. Okay? Okay, I'm back. And I have my ribbon all the way around and it's glued with my um, Tombow green glue. And I just used this because it holds best for the, um, for the burlap ribbon. And then I just made a bow or a flower with our new flower die from our Big Shot. And that was just the embellishments that I did for it. But you saw how fast this was. Now there's two more things that I just wanted to show you. For the bottom of our box, because um, like I said, you can um, put anything in there. You can um, put candy, you can put cards. Um, I, I like to, just like when you get a, a bag from a department store, they always have one of these little um, things on the bottom of it. So it just kind of makes it look a little bit more professional and a little bit more sturdy. So I just put that on the bottom of my box. And if you're using light paper, now our designer series paper is nice and thick, but if you're using um, vellum, I've made them out of vellum and I've made them much bigger and I'll, I'll give you those measurements also on my blog, but when you're making something that is a little bit more flimsy, not this, but if you are making something that's a little bit more flimsy, you might want to put a piece here and a piece here. And I'll put these measurements on my blog also. But let me just show you um, what I mean by those extra pieces. In this one right here, like I said, I made a bunch of cards for it, so I thought I'd make it just a little bit sturdier. Um, and what I did was, you can see, I, I put an extra piece right here, and you're going to put that in before you do your sides. So you just want to make sure that it's... Um, it's a little bit sturdier, and then you're just going to put your bottom piece in. So I put the two extra side pieces in. Now, I also wanted to show you on this one the differences in the handle. This is still 36 inches of um, our ribbon, and instead of um, wrapping it all the way around, um, I just stopped it right here at the bottom. Now, um, this makes the handle a little bit longer. It's still not a shoulder bag, but it makes it just a little bit longer than this. Again, just using 36 inches of ribbon. Um, you can use these for just about anything but like I said they're great gift card holders you saw how fast they were and these are my 31 bags I just thought they were so adorable and I was so proud of myself like I said it inspired me to see the bag on the table um, I looked at it and I thought I could make that and I did so I hope you enjoyed my, po my post um, go on over to my blog and um, catch all the measurements and if you have any questions just let me know take care and have a great day